Hello and welcome to this short demonstration presented by Cisco Software Solutions on the master data synchronization available within Business Central version 22. When two or more companies use some of the same master data, synchronization will save time on the manual data entry into each individual company. One prerequisite is that all companies must be on the same environment. The synchronization is set up in the subsidiary company and is classified as unidirectional only. This means that the synchronized data is pulled from the source company and the subsidiary company does not push data back to the source. Let's work through some setup and examples. Firstly, determine which company will be responsible for the master data. This can be an existing company or create a separate company for the master data only. In this example, my subsidiary company will be the Cronus UK Limited. So first part of the setup, let's search for the master data. And this is where you'll define your source company. So here we have a separate company that will hold the master data only. Once that's been linked, then you can enable the data synchronization. Now Business Central will find tables and fields that are available from the source company and suggest a list of tables. Those are viewed from within the synchronized tables as shown here, but you can also add any additional tables or any tables that have been added through extensions as well. You can enable or disable a table if you want to start the synchronization. You can also determine whether you want any local changes to be overwritten. So if you have made some changes in your subsidiary company, any time the sync runs, the master data company will always take preference. What you can also do then is on the table filter, you can start to build up any kind of information where you're only maybe wanting to pull down certain types of information. So you can build up your filtered list and the subsidiary company will only pull that information down. You can then drill into the fields that you also want to synchronize. So in this example, all of the fields are enabled, but you may only want to enable a few. And again, you can select more where you can disable them all and then just manually enable the fields that you want to synchronize. So let's start to set up a few GL accounts on our master data. So we'll switch to the master data company and we'll go to our chart of accounts and we'll just add in some more GL accounts and we'll also change the description on ones that are already here. So I'm going to add a new account and we'll just call this product sales and we'll just call it group B and we'll change this to the income statement. We'll specify our account category and our subcategory. Okay, so I'm also just going to change the description of this one. And I'm going to say this is relating to group A. Okay, so I've added one new GL account and I've amended the description of one. So now if we switch back to the subsidiary company and look at the chart of accounts, you'll see that those have now been updated. So if we just go back to the master data a second and how does that actually all hang together? So if you look at the synchronization tables, what you'll also see then is you'll see a job queue entry. And as soon as there's information to bring to pull down from the master company, this job queue entry will be active and it'll pull that information down straight into your subsidiary company. You can also check on the status of these jobs. So if we look at the integration synchronization jobs, and here you'll see that there was indeed some information that has been pulled down. There's the date and time. And you can click into the insert it. And if I look at this one, that'll show that's the GL account that I created on my master company. So any new records or records modified will be inserted. However, if you delete any records in the master 
company, it will be up to this subsidiary company to determine whether those records should also be deleted. That isn't part of the synchronization. So in summary, this feature can provide a more structured and streamlined process for master data, where any table or even a table extension can be selected for data synchronization. On a final note, thanks for listening. And for more information on any of the other features available within Business Central, please visit our website at www.cisco-software.com.